This is a demonstration of flying a iris um, using PyBullet. So PyBullet um, is a Python interface to the Bullet uh, physics engine. And so what, I've, what we've got here is a, um, an iris loaded into this, uh, into PyBullet. So an iris is a small quadcopter that's commonly used for testing. Uh, Randy McKay, the Arducopter maintainer, flies one regularly. So we've got that in bullet physics. And uh, what we're going to do is I'll just show you a couple of things I'm going to do. For example, a motor test. Um, so by doing each of the motors at um, running for two seconds each, so you can sort of do, actually see the propellers spinning and they even spin in the right direction. And so then what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit and pop this into mode guided. Um, this is all using the JSON interface, the JSON autopilot interface that um, uh, is being created by Peter Hall as part of his GSOC project. Um, his project was uh, concentrating on the MATLAB backend, but it, but it can be equally used for Python backends like this. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, put this into an auto mission and it's going to then fly a small mission at CMAC. Just zoom out so you can actually see it. So there it is. And it's flying around this little mission and you can see it flying around here. I'm displaying the EKF variances showing very low variances, which um, is an attribute of the lockstep scheduling that Pete Hall has set up. And it's showing a little horizon here. And so there we have a, an iris flying in PyBullet using the JSON backend that Pete Hall did. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'll tell it to RTL. So it's now climbing up and doing an RTL. And it will then land. Um, it allows us to interface to lots of different robot types. I think the little shadow is quite cool here. Uh, it, so it also has a little rover and you can do things like open dog and little dog and other, you know, um, walking robots, all sorts of different ones you can control in this way. So um, I hope you found that useful and uh, happy simulation.